So you come on the platform, you see a number of opportunities, and instead of having classically what happens is if you're doing it yourself, if you don't have an agency, what you do is you pitch so many people or just hang in there and hope that someone comes to you somehow and discovers that you exist and asks you to come on the show or like ask you for your opinion on different things. But um, what we're doing is we're making it a lot more easier, more proactive. So now you could just literally just see a slash radio hour and just say, okay, this looks really interesting. I want to just do that. And that's literally it. Well, can I know more about this, this, uh, this podcast or whatever before I do it like is there like a profile of the organization somewhere i can see like their uh, yeah. subscribers numbers and yeah so what you can see right now is uh more about the qualitatives about this thing like who the audience is who they guest i mean the interview typically we actually have details about their subscriber numbers but we don't actually make that publicly available before you send a request because we're trying to optimize for sending I mean, high relevant targeted um, request over just shooting out requests because the person has like a million listeners or a million followers okay. because so that's the behavior we saw happening. Right. Um, once so if, I, if I choose if I choose one, mm -hmm. I get the numbers on on their uh, subscribership later. Yep. Okay. For example, once you send out the request, um, you get to see how many people are actually listening. For example, like this yeah. is one. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. But okay. you need to actually, we want you to look for quality over quantity of listeners because what we're seeing with, particularly with mainstream people, they just shoot out a bunch of requests hoping to get in front of the, the most amount of audiences. But what we're seeing there is you actually want to be in front of people who are actually highly engaged based on your space more than um, just based on subscriber numbers. Because you could have a podcast with just about a thousand listeners that I could give you a lot more value than a podcast with 10 million listeners because again it's more about getting that those people who are highly engaged to be able to recognize your brand and spread it within your circles. So what 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 does that verification process look like? Oh, it's, it's just simple right so first of all we have like a set of three questions we as uh, we sort of like try to answer once you see that put a request on up on our platform right so what, what we check out for is, is this product or service actually in the market um are people using it? Are, do, do they have, are they generating some sort of revenue? Are they, have they raised a round or two? Have they raised some funding? And is the team full time on it? Because we don't want people to just come in for like a side project and they just use it and like they don't actually become serious because we want people who are actually serious and actually have a long story to tell because ultimately how this works is the longer you stay on the platform, the more opportunities you go out there, the more you talk about what you're working on. Um, the higher probability that in the future that's going to accumulate and help accelerate your future growth. So it's more like you're building your brand. And yeah. if you're doing that, it for the short, yeah, if you're doing it for the short run, you, you don't really need to do it right because building your brand takes a while and we need to know if you're serious about what you're doing. Power users. Yeah, power users. <laughs> yeah. yeah. If I do enough uh, speaking gigs, I get, I get like a badge, right? <laughs> Not now, but eventually you will. <laughs> exactly.